Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 12th through the 18th. So my loves, I hope everybody is doing well, staying happy, safe, and healthy. So let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have today for my Taurus key spirit? Clarity, guidance, love messages, advice for my Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides for July 12th through July 18th, please, Spirit. All right, my loves. So if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, palo santo, sage, jewelry, um, crystals. I give away dragon's blood incense, uh, which is great for clearing negative energy. Um, NIV version uh, Bibles, which are great for studying because they're the super large print. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced, okay? To enter the giveaway, it's super simple. The instructions are in the description box below and they are in the comments. Uh, well, you could put it in the comments, but really it, it just follow the instructions below because I'll check that email for anyone entering the giveaway, okay? And if you would like to request a personal reading, my information is below, all right? Okay, my loves, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message. So, Taurus, it was kind of like sweet and sad at the same time because I, I got this energy. Now, this could be, you might be in this energy, your person might be in this energy, I don't know, okay? I feel like somebody has a lot of hope, a lot of plans for this connection, okay? But somebody here is is—it's kind of playing like a tit-for-tat game. Like someone here is like, well, I give this much and this person really doesn't do it back or I do this and this person doesn't really do it back. And I feel like, you know, someone here has like this vision. They want to work on this connection. They really want it to be solid. But at the same time, like you're robbing yourself of your own joy because you keep stalling the connection from moving forward by passing judgment on everything this person person is doing and not doing. Meanwhile, I, I feel like honestly, this person loves you, Taurus. Okay. So for me, this is a little bit about love languages. Okay. Some people don't express love the way we expect love to be expressed. Now, there are people that will study you and, and you know, you're, there are partners out there that will study you and be like, okay, well, normally, like, let's just say, I don't know, I'm a guy and you're a girl. So as a guy, normally, I would assume that a girl wants flowers or that she wants jewelry or that she wants chocolates or she wants to be taken out to eat or whatever the case may be, okay? But now I'm dating a girl who's maybe into dirt bikes. I don't know, right? You know what I'm saying? And this girl would rather a gift certificate to some you know, place that sells bike stuff, right? Uh, so now there are partners that will study or, or realize that they're with a woman that, you know, wants that versus a tennis bracelet okay and then there are partners that are just set in their ways and even if you know you're maybe more of a tomboy type of chick you know this guy will still expect you know to give you jewelry and take you out to dinner because that's just what they know okay and i feel like taurus for some of you you might be in a relationship here where you're with a person who is just set in their ways and this is how they express love and it is what it is and it's not how you see love okay so this person you know may do certain things during the day to show you that they love you but you don't comprehend that as love you may see that as okay well that's just normal they're doing that you know what i'm saying so but you know so there's this energy of someone feeling very kind of disappointed that they're giving more than the other person but I'm not really feeling that, Taurus. I feel like the person does love you. It's just they express it differently. So here we have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. And <clears throat> I feel like maybe you see this person as a King of Swords type of person, maybe very like closed off or not very emotional or not very affectionate. You know, the King of Swords is not someone who's going to give like public displays of affection more than likely. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you may see this person and it may, it may, 
make you a little defensive and a little like held back because you feel unloved by this person. But again, I got to be honest, I'm not, I'm not really feeling that this person doesn't love you. I just feel that they express it differently than what you're used to. Okay. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Taurus, please? Manifestation. Okay. So I feel that, you know, Taurus, the way this works is generally what you put out into the world is what comes back to you. And you're like, you know what? I love this person so much and I'm, I'm putting out love and I'm putting out kindness and I'm putting out all this stuff. Why am I not getting it back? Right. But you are getting it back, just not in the way you expect it to see. We have cornucopia here, the 11, 11 card. So this is like, I feel like both of you are very happy with each other. I feel like both of you have wish fulfillment with each other, but it's just this energy of, it's like an energy of disappointment because someone is feeling unloved because they're not getting love the way they expect it. See, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So someone here keeps manifesting this to happen. Someone here is waiting for this, this magical thing to happen. But I feel like this person is already expressing love. Just, you know, someone isn't awakened to it. Someone's not seeing it. Now, Taurus, see, be bold and make the first move. So, Taurus, listen, if you're in a relationship like this and you're the one that I'm reading for, if you're the one who's like, you know, Gina, I, I understand. It's not like, you know, I, I know they care about me, but I wish they would do a little bit more because I do so much. So, you know, be bold and make the first move. Maybe tell your person, you know, if your person is set in their ways with how they express love, maybe tell your person, listen, you know, it makes me feel uncomfortable that you never want to kiss me in public, or it makes me feel uncomfortable that, you know, be bold and make that first move. You know what I'm saying? You do it. Show this person what you want. Show this person what you need in a connection. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Taurus? intuition and manifestation again so yeah someone here is really trying to manifest this from their partner and i feel like spirit is saying you know it's not just going to happen on its own you might have to teach your person you may have to be bold and make that first move show them how you need to be loved throat chakra speak up taurus okay so taurus if you don't feel this way um then you know maybe your person is feeling this way maybe this person needs a certain type of love from you that you're not giving okay and especially being a taurus we know you're set in your way <laughs> we know you guys can be a little stubborn and set in your ways so maybe you're just not realizing that your person needs something from you that you're not giving so we have here not for you okay now i feel like it's getting to a point where somebody is like, should I be honest with myself and be and, and, and say that maybe this connection is not for me or this person is not for me because I feel so unhappy, disappointed, and dissatisfied by the end of the day? Now, if you look at it that way, it's kind of sad because I feel like this is your person. We've got knowledge here. So this is all about your person or you, whoever's going through this. It's all about this person just simply doesn't know the information. Do you understand? And it's kind of like, it, it would be sad to end an entire relationship just because somebody simply doesn't know what you want or need. Okay. So let's see what we have here. So we have the four of swords. So this is an energy. Um, it could be an energy of this may be how you feel about your person, that your person doesn't put work into the connection. We have the ace of pentacles. Um, Maybe you're expecting your person to buy you gifts or spend more money on you or take you out or be more spontaneous. Let's see here. We have the Seven of Swords and we have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So there's something that's very slow moving here. So maybe Taurus, somebody here wants a marriage proposal maybe, um, but somebody feels like they're being taken advantage of with the seven of swords and the four of swords. It's kind of like someone doesn't put work into this connection and commitment or getting what you want is taking forever. We have the ace of swords and the knight of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. The Queen of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So 
I gotta be honest with you. I feel like if you spoke your truth here with the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords, like if you just like move, you know, just said what you needed to say, I feel like with the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Cups here, because we have the King of Swords to the Queen of Swords, right? I feel like if this person had that knowledge, if they understood the strategy on how you want to be loved with that Ace of Cups, I feel like they would do it. Like, I feel like they would run out and do it if they knew the truth on how you felt. So let's see here. We have the Six of Wands and we have the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. So this person wants to be victorious with you. This person wants to make you happy. They want to. The King of Wands loves to spoil his person. They do. You know what I'm saying? So this person wants to make you happy. With the Five of Swords and the Fool Aries energy, I kind of feel like this person has given up trying, though, because it seems like no matter what they do, it's not making you happy, which is understandable, Taurus. So <clears throat> if this person is doing things trying to make you happy and you're not acknowledging those things that this person is doing because it's not what you want specifically... This person is obviously going to give up altogether. They're going to give up trying, you know, the hanged man, Piscean energy. Of course, they're at a standstill. Of course, they're in four of swords mode because with the devil card here, Capricorn energy, I feel like maybe you get angry. Maybe you get upset. We have the emperor here in the strength card. This is a very strong willed person. This is a very strong-willed person. So I'm feeling with the hangman and the devil card, this person just doesn't want to fight is what I'm feeling here. This person is trying to stop any any anything bad or toxic from coming into the relationship with the emperor and the strength card, Aries, Taurus, uh, Leo energy here. This is a very strong-willed person. So I, I don't know here what side you're on, Taurus, but what I'm actually getting here is that somebody here is really stalling this connection because they're having this attitude a very toxic attitude i'm not gonna lie because they're not getting what they want yet at the same time they're not speaking what they want do you understand what i'm saying and somebody here is just simply starting to give up <clears throat> yeah they're starting to give up because they don't know what to do so we do have a true pair here king and queen of swords but it seems like it's kind of you know um becoming a little defensive because somebody just doesn't really know or understand what the other person wants. Tell me about the Four of Swords, please. The High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy. So this person has kind of taken a break here in, in putting work into the connection because with that High Priestess, they just don't know. Like you're not speaking here. You're not saying what you want. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. The three of wands, what do you want? What What is this ace of pentacles that you want to come in? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, like I said, this person, you know, because that ace of pentacles could be a gift, you know what I'm saying? So this person may come in with a tennis bracelet. Meanwhile, you know, you're expecting them to know you well enough to know that, again, you want that gift certificate for a dirt bike or maybe, I, I don't know, you know, you're into something different. You don't like jewelry or you like purses instead of jewelry or if you're a man, you know, uh, you know, you would rather have, um, you know, I don't know, a gift certificate to buy something for your boat instead of like a tie for a suit that you never wear. You know, do you understand what I'm saying? It's like somebody is giving in a way that just like the other person's like, I understand that you put thought into this and everything, but it's not me. Like, don't you know who I am? This is not what I would want or what I would appreciate. Tell me about the seven of swords. We have the six of wands. So I feel like this person feels like Okay, I feel like someone is stealing their own victory because there is love here. It's not like this person's not putting the work in. It's just not being put in the way you want it to. So with that six of wands and that seven of swords, there's a level of ego here, which is taken from this connection. So instead of somebody opening up and speaking, being bold, making that first mute move, opening the throat chakra and saying, listen, babe, I really love the tennis bracelet. It's amazing. But next time I would so much, don't spend this much money I would so much rather 
rather go to like here and buy this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do you understand? So there's a sense of ego that's kind of robbing the connection of this joy. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And that's why it's taking so long for love to be expressed here because someone just doesn't know. It feels like everything they do is wrong. Ace of Swords and the Ten of Wands. This person just doesn't understand. They're giving up because they don't understand. They're not seeing clearly what it is that you want from them. Knight of Swords and the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. If they knew how to manifest what it would take to make you happy, they would go rush and do it. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. The problem is, is that there's no communication here. Someone is not opening up Taurus and saying, this is my want, this is my des desire. You're just expecting the other person to know. With the Ace of Cups and the Four of Swords, this person's like, I love you, but I don't know how to show it with that Four of Swords. So I'm just going to lay here because I don't really know what you want from me. Do you understand? So Taurus, this could be you. You, It could be your person that like everything you do for your person, it's wrong or it's not the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know this is a really specific message, but I mean, it's, it's, it's really like destroying a connection though. Tell me about the six of wands and the star Aquarian energy. This person wants victory. They want to give you, they want to make you happy. Tell me about the king of wands two of swords look at how he's in front of that chessboard it's like this poor person is trying to make decisions on what to do to make you happy like it's kind of like one of those things where like how can i put it okay um this person will come home from work let's just say and they're like okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna take out the garbage um because i know that'll make her happy OK, I'm giving an example here. So this person comes in with their work boots and in their mind, they're like, I have to walk right back out anyway. So I'm going to wear my work boots, walk into the kitchen, grab the garbage, go throw it away and then come back and I'll take my shoes off. And here you are flipping out because you keep telling your person not to walk in the house with the work boots. You understand what I'm saying? So like. Like you're not seeing that they had good intentions, that they were just going to dip in the house, grab the garbage, leave. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're you're attacking them for the work boots. I know these are kind of like little examples, but these are things that are like killing the connection. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's it's like this person's like, I just don't know what to do. It's like even if I set out to do something that would make him or her happy, you know, and that's what's causing this energy of defeat with this five of swords, the six of cups. Um, this person does want to balance out the situation you know they do tell me more about the six of cups the two of pentacles but they just don't know how to do it they don't know what you want you know we have the full card here with the four of wands this person would like to go out for once and you know surprise you with something and know that with that four of wands it's something that's going <coughs> to make you happy or um that will make the household happy because that four of wands talks about starting a new beginning together it talks about marriage it talks about starting a family or a home this person would like to maybe go out and work on things on the house with you or you know what i'm saying they would like to go out and do these things they just don't know what's going to make you happy with the hanged man here we have the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy so i feel that this person has love to show and to give but they're mastering it they're holding it back with that hanged man tell me about the devil the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So we've got the King to the Queen of Cups on top of the Devil card. I'm kind of getting, getting this energy of like emotional outbursts. Someone gets so upset that they have emotional outbursts. Like for instance, Another thing just came to me. Let's say there's a room in your house that you guys want to fix, right? And I don't know, you know, your person wants to make you happy. So they go out and they get carpet samples for you and you bug out on the person because you're like, well, we have to paint the walls before we put down carpet, dumbass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so this person, like they try to do things, but they're just not doing them in the way that, to your standards and somebody is getting beat down for it. You know, now Taurus, it could be you that's dealing with this. It could be your person, but it's really, it's really putting a damper on things we have the page of pentacles and the emperor here and we have the strength card 
and the six of swords. So I feel like, you know, this emperor is starting to feel like they just don't know what to bring to the table. They're starting to feel very small. They're starting to feel like they can't give you what you want. And with that strength card, you know, they may eventually walk away from this. Okay. So, you know, this is why it's important. Attitude is very important in, in relationships. The challenge here is the seven of cups. What in the hell do you want with that four of cups? Everything I do, excuse me, with that three of cups here, I apologize. I thought it was the four of cups. So what do you want? What will make you happy? The three of cups talks about celebration. The three of cups talks about being happy, having fun, having a good time. This person may, you know, set up a whole romantic dinner and, and romantic night out, whereas you want to go, you know, camping or, you know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So and vice versa ladies you know if your man is not a suit and tie type of guy and they, you know he just wants to go roast some marshmallows or likes to hunt or likes to do manly manly things you know and you want to have a date night and, and make him happy setting it up at a five-star elegant red restaurant with a limo picking you guys up that's not what he's into do you understand so he'll do it because he loves you but it's kind of frustrating because to him it would be like you know he would rather be in his pickup truck looking at the stars with you and you know have that quiet time so this is all about studying your person understanding their love language and you doing that to make you happy someone here but you guys have to communicate in order to do that you have to open that throat chakra you you can't just manifest you can't just think in your mind okay i want them to know that i want this or that i need this to feel loved you know manifestation is great but it doesn't work that way with this so you're you're really trying to manifest you're sitting there waiting for it but spirit is like no this is not something that you manifest you have to be bold and make the first listen i don't want to go to a five-star restaurant okay so the next time let's just do a campfire okay you spoke it now this person knows okay Oh, what, you're not happy with the five-star restaurant? I know I am. I'm very happy with the five-star restaurant, but I would like to spend more one-on-one -on -one time with you being comfortable. So the next time, why don't we do this? And if you like this, we could, you know, alternate. Every once in a while, we'll do fancy restaurant, and every once in a while, we'll do the campfire looking at the stars thing. You know, you have to speak to your person. You can't let this ego get in the way of, well, they should just automatically know what I want and read my mind. They can't do that, you know? So the outcome here is the two of swords and the two of wands. Someone here needs to make a decision. Either you're going to open up about what you want to be happy or, you know, it's going to end up falling apart because it's frustrating. Spirit, tell me about this two of wands. Yeah, ace of pentacles. Again, you know, make a decision on what you want, what kind of gifts you like, what, what do you want to be offered here? Tell me about the two of swords. And the Hierophant, Taurus energy, yeah, because if you don't open up about what you want, then it's never going to come to you. You know, with that Two of Swords and the Hierophant, this relationship is not going to move forward, whereas it should move forward because you guys do work well together with that Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, this is meant to move forward and for you guys to be together, but you have to get over this defensive energy. You have to learn how to communicate with each other. Okay. All right, guys. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.